Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike from Codica School. If you can see on my screen, so my player, my character is actually running with normal speed, but if I press and hold shift key on my keyboard, my um, player is actually running with so like faster one. Of course, I can adjust and make the speed as uh, even faster. So this functionality is actually called shift run. So if you want to know how to do that, mm, just uh, stay on the video, um, subscribe, watch it and give me your likes and comments. All right, stay tuned, let's get started. As you can see guys, this is my Roblox Studio. I already have this application and I already have account on Roblox platform. So if you don't have Roblox Studio, you have to install it. And if you don't have a Roblox account, you have to register, you have to sign up. All right, imagine you already have these both things. So we can actually select any template you'd like. If you wanna select like the classic base plate, it's just like brand new thingy. But in my video, I'd like to use racing one. I really like racing games, so that's why I'm going to choose this uh, place and uh, racing template. All right. Again, I don't need to make any blocks or any anything like any parts. This functionality called Shift Run is being controlled by a special script. So you're going to go here. If you can see in my mm, Explorer window, I see a starter player uh, folder. Guys, if you don't have a Explorer window open on your computer in your Roblox Studio and you, you don't know how to do that and how to get it, just go to View tab and select Explorer window on the left hand side, right? Like left top corner. All right, let's get back. We have to select starter player and actually click on the tiny triangle left beside the starter player and select the second option, guys. The second folder is called uh, starter player scripts because this is actually about like our player functionality. Uh, click on the plus and add a local script to it. So you can actually name the script as, let's say, shift to run. How to do that? You can just like simply double click with a small delay between these clicks uh, uh, over here, or you can make a right mouse click and then select rename. So it's gonna be shift to run, press enter. So the next step, guys, is you can see here, we have a message, like a standard uh, greetings message from Roblox Studio. We just need to, um, you know, remove it. And uh, let's get started, guys, with um, the actual uh, script. So first of all, my friends, we have to introduce um, a variable, which is called player, right? So this player will actually navigate us uh, to game.allplayers. So we will get access to all players we have in the game and we can select a local player. So it's gonna be local player equals sign and then game.players with capital P and then dot local player with capital L and capital P. Next line of code is gonna be a new variable uh, which is called user and then with capital I, it's gonna be input. Again, space equals sign space. So we're gonna say game and then two vertical dots, which is colon, get service. And in brackets, guys, we have to say in uh, open quotes, user input service. So basically user input will get a special uh, component it's called user input service, all right? So two lines we've done, please check the, you know, capitalization for specific words, all right? So um, line number three, my friends, is gonna be again, a new variable, which is called run and then speed with capital S. So initially guys, this is gonna be 30. So 30 means guys is basically when we press and hold shift bar, like a shift key on the keyboard, this is gonna be the speed increment, right? So like the highest speed. Of course, if you want if you want guys like to set it to 100 or like 1000, it's up to you, you can do it, right? My goal is actually to show you the example. Next line, line number four, we basically need to introduce guys something called walk speed, which is initially 16, or well, that's gonna like a normal standard speed of our player in the game, all right? So walk speed. Perfect. So my friends, if we're done, just double check. Um, so next line is going to be line number six. So we're going to make a new function. So this function will be local and local means guys, it's actually applied only to you, to your player and to your account, which means guys, if it's going to be not local function, it will be applied for all, um, you know, characters for all players, but local means specifically to you only apply to you. Name of this function guys will be on lowercase and then input with uppercase I and then um, and then begin with capital uh, B. So inside these brackets guys we have to pass actually two different parameters. The first one is called input and the second one is called game uh, protest. 
So we have to press enter and we're gonna go to line number seven, which is gonna be a conditional statement. So condition always starts with if word, right? So we are typing if. So if our input will have a special key code and then the key code guys will actually equal to enum and then key code dot left shift. One more guys condition and not game processed then so just one more time guys if input dot key code equals equals so two equal signs and then enum and then dot key code period left shift and not game protest then you should be getting line number nine with additional end command and now we have to type player and then period character and then dot humanoid you have to type it, guys. Unfortunately, Roblox doesn't give us that out of suggestion. So humanoid dot walk speed. So player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals to run speed, right, guys? Because run speed is equals to 30. So which means um, when we press, guys, shift button on the keyboard, so the run speed, well, actually, the, you know, the, the speed of the player should equal to 30, right? So 30 is going to be the speed increment. My friends, now it's time actually to go uh, somewhere on line number 12. So do you see I'm pressing enter? I'm going to go to line number 12. So basically, guys, I can just like copy line number 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Just like highlight all these lines and copy them. And paste on line number 12. Just like paste them. We have to adjust this function, guys, a little bit because we couldn't have the same, you know, identical function. So this is called began, but this is called ended. Okay? So the first one, guys, change is basically we change in, instead of began, it's going to be ended here, right? That's the first change. So the next one, guys, is uh, basically, um, so line number 13, we have to change, uh, actually remove and not game processed things. So just like this. And the last one, last but not least, instead of run speed, what do you think, guys, should we change to? Yes, it needs to be to walk speed because when we press shaft and hold, um, then it, the speed should be increased to 30. But when we release this button, so this, the walk speed should uh, change or should uh, get back to 16, right? The normal um, running speed of the player. Um, almost done, guys. We got to go to line 18. So, so we have to type two more uh, lines of code. So one line of code will actually introduce or connect this first function to our Roblox Studio and Roblox Player. So what we have to type, guys. So user input, that's the first word, dot input begin. Then, guys, two vertical dots, which is called colon, and then connect. And now, guys, I recommend you actually just to copy uh, the, the first function name with no brackets and paste this value here. Again, guys, you should not have additional brackets after begin, right? So only one closing bracket. And the second one, guys, you can actually copy and go to line 19 and paste it. But uh, instead of um, began, you have to say and that here, that's the first usage of this word. And the second usage, guys, will be here. So on input ended. All right. So I think, guys, that's pretty much done for this local uh, shift to run script. I think I don't see anything else. Uh, let me just double check quickly. So the difference, guys, is is basically between this line and this line is is this uh, a few components like additional conditional check. So if it's not game processed. Um, it's going to be run speed on line 8, but it's going to be walk speed on line 14, right? So it's a good actually double check. And the last one, so begin, begin, so two times begin on line 18 and two times ended on line number 19, right? So I think that's pretty much done. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to press play button. And I think that's uh, technically a moment of truth. So I'm just waiting, guys, when, when my game is fully loaded. So I'm just I'm pressing up arrow key to start running. So let me just go on the road. I want to see, guys, my, my kind of like moving. And then I'm pressing shift key. Look at that. It's working. <laughs> that's cool. I want to stop it for a moment, guys. What if we change this value for run speed to, let's say, like 100? And then we can run one more time. I want to see, will it 
will it change the the speed i think yes again based on the you know my knowledge and my uh, kind of, um, expectations all right just get back on the road again this is my normal speed right guys 16 if you remember but now it's time to press shift look at that oh my god <laughs> it's so fast <laughs> And so guys, what if you try to, let's say 1000, can you please write down in the comment how this would work for you? So will it work technically or not? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, one more time, my friends, I'm showing you that script, but this is pretty much done from my side. Again, that was Mike from Codica School. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe to this video and share with your friends. All right, see you, my friends in the next videos. Bye.